What is up guys, Eric here from Real Film Reviews bringing you another movie review, this time for the new Quentin Tarantino film, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood is written and directed by Quentin Tarantino, stars Leonardo DiCaprio, Brad Pitt, and Margot Robbie. It tells the story of Rick Dalton, a fading television actor who was very famous back in the 1950s, but now finds himself in 1969 struggling to find work. So him and his stunt double Clint Booth decide that they have to do some different different things to find work while they're living in this new and intriguing LA full of hippies and new stars. Quentin Tarantino is widely considered one of the greatest writers and directors to have ever lived in this world, and I personally am one of the people that agrees with that. I think that of all the films he's made, he's really only ever made a few mediocre to bad ones, and that's a pretty hard thing to say about most directors. Most of what he makes is a home run, knocked it out of the park, A-plus film. And Once Upon a Time in Hollywood was something that seemed very different from what he'd made before. It didn't seem like it was going to be so action-heavy. It seemed like it was going to tell a very human story, and that's very much what it does. This is a film revolving around a man, portrayed by Leonardo DiCaprio, who is in sort of the twilight of his career. He thinks that it's over, and he doesn't quite know what to do or where to go. And we see this man, who has had such confidence and such gusto throughout his career, slowly fading and slowly fearing what will come in the end and how he will be remembered. And alongside him, you have his stunt double, who is this man who consistently lives this very free and easy lifestyle, but also realizes the struggles that his friend is going through and wants to try to help him in any way that he can. And I think that's one of the biggest strengths of this script, and specifically the storytelling in this film, is it doesn't try to rush through us seeing a human story. It very much lets us sit and soak and marinate in these scenes with these people just living their lives. And that's so important because as this film goes and the climax of the film eventually comes, it makes that climax seem so much bigger and so much more important and holds so much more weight. And it it's something that a lot of films are scared to do. This movie is two hours and 45 minutes long, and it really is a slow burn, but at no point is it boring or dragging, it just knows that it's building and building and building to this extremely important moment, and if they try to add too much in between there, it will fade the aspect of that big moment. The performances in this film are fantastic. I'm not going to go into the entire supporting cast because there are just way too many people, but they all do a very, very good job. There is no one to pick out that said they did a bad job. Honestly, the two people to talk about are Brad Pitt and Leonardo DiCaprio. They are a wonderful duo in this film. They go together extremely well, and I think also the dichotomy of their two characters and the two very different lives that they have led is also extremely important to this story, and I think that it adds so much more comedy to it. They're very, very funny. This is a very funny film. I was laughing consistently throughout it. Quentin Tarantino is someone who's always able to take dark moments and make them funny in a way that's almost sort of creepy because of how dark some of the moments are, but it always works, and it worked yet again in this film. Leonardo DiCaprio gives a Oscar-worthy performance, which I guess isn't that surprising to say anymore with Leo. Brad Pitt also gives an Oscar-worthy performance. They both feel so ingrained into this film, and their, their roles that they're playing feel so real, and it's such a testament to how good the script of this film is that they were able to take two of the most well-known actors in the whole world, and about 20 minutes in, I was fully invested in the fact that that was Rick Dalton, and that was Clint Booth, and that's who that was. That wasn't Leonardo DiCaprio and Brad Pitt, it was those two different, totally not non-existent people, and I think that it's so amazing to see that transformation from people who are so well known in Hollywood. The movie is wonderfully edited, which again is not a surprise for a Tarantino film, but this movie really, really invests in some quick cuts and some very, very nice fast edits, because this movie has a lot of very intricate camera work that I really loved. It does a lot of up-high shots that are looking down on everything, and then it also utilizes in a lot of these scenes where they're like shooting a television show within the movie. It utilizes a lot of very long takes and really, really smooth camera work, and I think it is extremely impressive to see, especially because some of those takes were pretty insane to do in a single take, especially with the mobilization and all the dialogue the actors had to do in them. So again, it's just a beautiful looking film. Tarantino doesn't really make bad looking movies, but 
even for Tarantino, this movie is able to capture 1969 in this beautiful, glorious, cinematic manner, catching all of the theaters, all of the restaurants, people driving in their vehicles, and all of it adds up to this being an extremely engrossing and enthralling film. I do want to go back to the script, even though I did talk about it in the beginning, because I really think that this film script is extremely well written. There are many callbacks from within the film throughout it, and then alongside that, as always, there are fun little Quentin Tarantino bits in there that if you're a big fan of Tarantino, you'll catch little small things that I really enjoyed. There's one specific one that jumped out that I think a lot of people will catch that's very funny and entertaining within the film. But I want to really state how important it is that this film lets you sit in these scenes. I could definitely see someone watching this movie and saying, oh, Tarantino got a little overindulgent and it's a little slow and flat at times. But I don't see that. What I see is a movie that's letting you grow and see these characters in their personal lives so that way when we eventually hit the climax of this film it is this massive crescendo that everyone is fully invested in because the final 15 to 20 minutes of this movie is one of the greatest climaxes I've ever seen in a film it's absolutely riveting to watch and it also is nothing like what you expect and even telling you that it's not like you expect you think you might be able to get an idea for what I'm talking about and I promise you that you are wrong it is riveting it is extremely entertaining and it is exceptionally well made and then the last thing is the music this film is a full of music and advertisements and all kinds of stuff from 1969 and it's really cool Tarantino is known for how much he invests himself in the music and pictures and sounds that are utilized throughout his films and I think that this is just another blatant Tarantino aspect of this film because there is so much amazing music and so much great cinematography revolving around the 1969 LA that this film takes place in and I really think that it just adds so much more to the film for this to genuinely be a 1969 period piece which is a really weird thing to say but it is the only way to describe this film based on how much effort was putting in to making you feel like you were in that time. Time period. I'm gonna give Once Upon a Time in Hollywood an A+. I'm gonna be honest with you, after only one viewing, I can't tell you where this sits in my list of Tarantino movies. I can't tell you if I think that it'll stand the test of time, but what I can tell you is for Tarantino, I genuinely think in this film Rick Dalton and Clint Booth are two of the best characters that he's ever made. Rick Dalton may be one of the most human characters that he's ever written in any film, and I think that it's beautiful, and it's great to see a extremely acclaimed writer and director continue to evolve throughout his career. Well, guys, as always, I'm Eric. If you enjoyed this video, please do like, subscribe, comment down below what you thought of Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, share everything we do here on Real Film Reviews, and I hope to see you guys later.